brain drain. Our brightest entrepreneurs are leaving the country and making money elsewhere. This is bad. I think we need to reduce the internet tax. Because then they'll come back. Internet is very good for business. Yeah, we'll just have like a 4% internet tax. And then that's competitive, right? Wait a minute. No, wait, hang on. It still earns a billion at 9%. So, we'll just reduce it. Even though it hadn't even been implemented yet. Damn it. Oh well. Um, yeah, my revenue and expenditure is horrible right now. We need to sort that out. We need to start making more money. Somehow. I think it's because my income tax is so low. Okay, right. If we put corporation tax, that's at 10% right now. Where's income tax? See, what's the cause of the brain drain? Luxury goods tax. Right, so if we put the luxury goods to 20, and then take the income tax. That's got to come up to something more reasonable. Right, I need to wait until my next turn. Okay. Where is it? There it is. Um, Capitalists are constantly plotting to kill me. Funny how they didn't rig the election. Mm. I got lucky. Or maybe they, vote, they rigged the wrong election. Uh, <laughs> you know? Always like, yeah, we're rigging it. Just always voted for that box there. Right. Where is <laughs> it? Right inside that cabinet there. Got it. Hey, Jimmy, how's it going? Hey, hey how's it going? What's that you got there? Oh, I got the votes for the Democratic Party, for the Republican Capitalist Party. What? Wait. If that's the fuck. Jimmy White! And that is how you guys got back into power. <laughs> Flat income tax. Random. Uh, <laughs> carbon tax. Lol. Right. Foreign investor tax breaks could cost me up to 20 billion. Tax shelters seem to be f like something fun. And he said, I think, that the corporation tax could go up to 15 without them hating me. Wow, I've got no crime. Dude, mm -hmm. check it out. No crime. Yay! Uh, yay! Uh, let's get some more people come work in Man Utopia. It took five years to make a Utopia, guys. It's just a shame that we're like stupidly in debt. And people keep attacking Utopia our Utopia of no crime, but tons of debt. Ah, nice. Corporations aren't leaving anymore. Probably because our corporate take taxes really low. Oh, our, our income's going up, but expenditure is still pretty, pretty bad. Okay, so what can we do about, what can we do about the expenditure? Income is on the rise. Debt is also on the rise. <laughs> uh, reserves are non-existent. 
Glo global economy is seriously picking up now. See, our income is still lower than it's ever been, though, so... Let's just ride it out. We're going to take those two, those six months holidays I was talking about. All right, ah. David Cameron. Damn it, they're calling me. I'm on holiday right now. What the hell? Look, I'm going to get <laughs> on a plane and come home from my holiday just to sign this nuclear test ban treaty. Well, maybe I won't, but I'm going to come off my holiday to decide whether I'll sign it. I even got my deputy... Prime Minister Von Doom here to help me decide on whether we're going to do this. Okay. The United Nations is pushing for our country to sign a treaty that would ban us on carrying out nuclear weapons tests. Many other channels, many many other channels, <laughs> have already signed this treaty, and are pressuring us to sign. Hmm. Well, we have no real need to carry out further tests. It's not like the current weapon generations do not work. <laughs> So we're like, yeah, we know all about those. We don't even need to blow up nukes anymore. They're so 1970. I don't need those. <laughs> sign the treaty, probably. Yeah, let's sign the treaty, because cause we know what they are. <laughs> it's funny. That's sort of like, our nukes are better than your nukes, and we don't even need to blow them up anymore, so we're going to sign the treaty. Nukes <laughs> are such 1940s. Come on, guys. Come on, man. Come on. We all know it's about aerial drone reconnaissance and CIA tapping. Come on, come on. I, I mean, um, Ooh, it's, the uh, debt crisis. It's about, it's about friendship. It's, uh, it's about friendship. Yeah. Everyone's been loaning money from overseas because they're stupid. So it's time for a flat rate income tax. Where is it? Keep clicking the wrong buttons. Circle fade. Circle fade. Where is it? Flat rate? I think it's taking it away from me. Flat income tax. At 25%. And then if we look at the normal income tax, that's currently at 40. So we'll reduce that to 30. Oh, I don't have enough. To... Son of a bitch. Oh well. I was on holiday, damn it. I'm going back on holiday. Uh oh. The capitalists are after me. Tax evasion has declined. My foreign affairs minister wants to leave. So we should probably put that foreign aid back on. Also, speed limits. Do we raise speed limits or not change them? Personally, I mm. think we should raise the speed limits. We have better cars now. You know, cars are safer than they were 20 years ago. So, you know, I would raise speed limits, but then I'd also have more stringent checks on vehicles. You know, because I'd just be like, look, if you've got an old clapper, you've got to scrap it. Do some kind of scheme to get people in new cars. You know? Like. Because even a 10 year old Crazy. car now. Yeah. Even a 10 year old car now is like. Got power steering and power brakes and everything. Yep. Alright. What's next? Oh my god, we are clawing our way out of debt. Look at that. Expenditure is only a few billion short. Oh my god. That means the people must hate us right now. Let's have a look. The poor hate us. Capitalists are starting to like us. Nah, that can't be right. Nah, they hate us. 48% cynicist. See, what we want is more complacency. Because then nobody will vote again. <laughs> 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 
Okay, let's take the luxury goods tax down a bit. State housing costs a lot of money. And it takes money out of the private sector. So we're going to reduce it. But then... I'm going to get a new policy. Rent controls. So then they're not getting ripped off. So you can't get a council house, but they can't rip you off with over extortionate rent. So you could actually get somewhere to live, you know? Well, yeah, because if you live in rent control area, it's cheap. And then we don't have to worry about maintaining the whole building through local government that want grants all the time. To be honest, I think that the, uh, the, the those rich people have it too hard. Like, maybe if I give them... Yeah. I think a mansion tax one might be a good idea, but it'll hit the, it'll hit the retired and they like me. So... Child benefits high. Should increase military expended, maybe. I think I already did. Oh wow, well trained. They're not. That's not high enough at all. We want highly trained. Overwhelming force. Double our military spending. Now I need to have an ace in the hole. I wonder if I can bring in drafting or something. Food stamps. Boom, food stamps. People love it. I'm going to be so in debt. <laughs> Technology backwater is at an end. And a celebrity endorsed us. We probably need to put that... Uh, foreign aid policy back on but I'm actually going to reduce it to like 2 billion I can't, we can't afford it really spending a lot of money uh oh the Battenberg group are on the rise mate they are going to take me out ok I need to introduce police drones where are the drones? No, I haven't got enough points. No. All right, I'm going on holiday. <laughs> Rain drain now at an end. Okay, I've got a decision to make, deputy. Positive discrimination. There are calls to, for a law to expressly set quotas for the employment of ethnic or other minorities by governments and corporations. This would put pressure to give priority to job candidates than, uh, that other than on, on the basis of race, sex and age. So... In human rights, in human rights terms, this is a compensation for years of discrimination against ethnic minorities, women, the elderly, and the disabled. Re if I reject the law, it creates two problems. Minority members that feel they may not have achieved the position on merit and the resentment of a potential employee who was denied the job. So while it's good, it's also bad. Hmm. It's hard. This one's hard, man. Um, I mean, we have this in this country. We have this law. You know? But the thing is... Yep. This puts pressure on companies to give priority to some candidates... 
on the basis of their race, sex, or age. So you could say, oh, well, we've got this really good white guy. <laughs> I can see how you can see this would be a really bad law, actually. I mean, it's good, but it's also bad. I mean, it shouldn't have anything to do with it, should it? But, but like, if... I say reject law. Reject it, because it just creates problems, doesn't it? Yeah. Because suddenly you know you didn't get the job because, you know, imagine that you get there and everyone is Asian. You're the only white person. You know what I mean? And it's like, yeah, you've clearly just got this job because of this law, you know? <laughs> yep. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. So what can we do for the poor? They got food stamps, unemployment benefits, state housing, state pensions, child benefit, state schools, state health, and legal aid. They're doing fine, to be honest. I can't see how I could make it. Ah, but they don't like the, the res rec recreational drugs tax. <laughs> well, boo-hoo. I'm sorry, but cry me a river. That's crazy. What am I supposed to do? Like, we can always make them illegal again for you if you want. <laughs> <laughs> and then you can go to jail when you because we know who all the users are now. <laughs> well, if you sort out employment or unemployment, yeah, they'll like you more. All right. Well, let's have a look at unemployment. How can we stimulate the economy? Oh my God, loads of ways. Uh, uh. Ah, road building. Ah. If we increase money on road building, maybe that will give us more money for... So let's see. We get 11, we're spending 11.4 billion per quarter on roads. Let's spend another 5 billion major expansion of roads we are gonna build more roads yeah do you know what i've heard them say stuff like that we're building more roads than any other government before us <laughs> and you're like and you're like roads to where we've been everywhere there's nowhere undiscovered they're like we found some new towns near scotland and we're putting a new motorway in and you're like <laughs> sorry i just couldn't help it it's just like maybe england's bigger than we thought you know there's a it's still uncharted, be laddie. <laughs> <laughs> so what do we got? I'm surprised with all the politics. We don't have to worry about any of this preaching stuff, you know, because I was thought that the Archbishop would have got involved by now. Oh, wait, here he is. Both systems are taught. Creation, version, evolution. But it doesn't cost any money, so that's fine. As long as you don't cost money, I'm happy with that. Serious health, yes. Yeah, so, if so, so you know, if you've got a, if you've got something sticking in your head, you get free health care. Sweet. <laughs> but that's not that's not an encouragement, you know, to go and do that just to get health care. Oh, I've got the flu, so I had to run into a fence and impale myself, and then they gave <laughs> me the uh, you know the anti-flu meds at the same time. You know, it's lucky that was. <laughs> what? <laughs> To get people with cancer running out in front of a bus because if they don't die, they'll get health care. <laughs> I'll be right back. I have to let the dog out. Alright. So while my deputy prime minister is on holiday, I'm going to go nuts. We need poli police drones. We need the best police drones in the world. And let's see, what else? Oh, that's all I get, because I'm a scrub. Oh, capitalist plots. Technological advantage. A new situation has developed. Our country is leading the world in a number of areas. This is great news. Good. Fox hunting. Leave him alone, man. That's going to kick off. That's going to take out so many jobs. Look, 7,000 people in rural communities are employed in hunting. And the knock-on effect on jobs will be greater. 
So, in the absence of my deputy, I would I would go with leaving this one alone. Uh, I just hope that this doesn't create a split in leadership later on in the uh, in the t in the term. Okay. But like I say, the views expressed here are uh, for gameplay. So what have I got? What's this umbrella about? Tax shelters. That seems to be working out just great. Labor laws. Pollution controls. Didn't I abolish pollution controls? Uh. Oh well. Everything seems good so far. What's this? Alcohol abuse. We have an alcohol abuse problem. So let's raise the alcohol age. <laughs> Back up to 21. Yep. <laughs> that should just help. put out a public service announcement just being like, Right, you guys are now abusing this. And I gave it to you, so we're going to take it back now. We're going to go yeah. back to the way things were before. Basically. what you get when you <laughs> screw up. Basically, the problem now is the debt, debt crisis. It looks like the debt crisis is coming down, to be honest. I mean, it's already a problem, but there's not much I can do about it. Hmm. Debt crisis. Is affected by everyone or affects everyone. Self employed capital gains and corporation investment scheme sales tax. Sales tax is currently 17%. Capital gains is 17%. Okay, so let's put these up. Put that up to 20. And then... Uh, put the sales tax up to 20. Oh, I can't. It's out of money. He's out! He's out of there! Okay. Foreign Affairs is tired. She may wish to, wish to, wish to leave. Terrorists captured! They were planning an attack on us. Welfare minister resigns. All right, it's time for a cabinet shakeup. Where's my cabinet? Reshuffle. Right then. Foreign Affairs Minister. Foreign Affairs. Capitalist Foreign Affairs. Oh, problem. Higher Welfare Minister. Welfare, Welfare. Welfare, Welfare. Economy. Economy. Oh crap! No, I pushed the wrong button. That's not fun. I just wasted a load of points, like 10 points. Just click the wrong button. Oh well. Look, it's gone. What? Foreign policy. Welfare. Welfare, welfare, welfare. Uh. Is that the one? No. Higher industry. Um, Tom, why, they, why are you hiring people with very little loyalty? What? You you hired some people with very little loyalty. Always. Okay, fine. Loyalty. I'll just hire on loyalty then. Because they'll go with whatever the hell you want, right? Yeah, but if these like not even the right type of thing and the strength is low, do you know what I mean? Look, the guys. I suppose it depends what you're looking for, doesn't it? Experience zip. 
get a bunch of people with no experience. Like... Finally. Behold, I am back. Ah, the deputy's back. What we got? Yay! The capitalists are still trying to kill us. But the debt crisis is now oh, at awesome. an end. And our credit rating has been upgraded. Health is down, education down, poverty down, crime up, unemployment up, GDP up. So I've, I'm managing to turn it around, slowly. But we've still got massive spending problems. Like, income tax is basically doing it, is, is our boy. It's earning so much money. Uh, sales tax is just a joke, so is corporation tax. They're not pulling their weight right now, but... They hate us anyway, so, you know, I'm trying to keep them happy right now, because... So, middle income is up, trade unions were going up, but are now going down. Parents have been up and down the whole time. Liberals were going down, and now going up. Capitalists have suddenly started shooting up. So I'm going to ride that train. Because they're wow. the only people... Yeah, I know, I've never managed to get the capitalists to like me. I mean, everyone else hates me now, but... Even the Patriots... <laughs> I've even turned the Patriots against me. But I'm this close to slashing pensions, so they need to watch it. <laughs> Wouldn't it be really bad if all those times when those things happened, you, it was actually, it was literally like, uh, it was spite. <laughs> you know, the country was fine. They just didn't like a few things that the unions were saying at the time, you know, like it was... Someone needs to write a comedy like that. Okay, we need to appoint a new UN ambassador. ambassador. Steve Harris or Regina Phillips? <laughs> Regina Phillips is against foreign aid and a supporter of import tariffs, and she's not popular internationally. Sounds like her, that sounds like her our person, because that's what our policies <laughs> are right now, yeah? Um, she's popular among, among patriotic and conservatives. Uh, Steve Harris, however, is compromise and understanding. He's popular with liberals and socialists as well as foreign leaders. So what do you reckon? Should we go for the Smurf or should we take um, the loyal Regina Phillips? I think we might have to go with the Smurf. Hmm... Because that's effectively what this we've got here. One. We've got a smurf, or we've got a, a militant activist of our crazy Militant policies. activist! Yeah, let's go with the militant <laughs> activist. You can take our rep represent us on the world stage. Okay, uh, our income is now way over expenditure, so we've done something right. we Recreational drugs tax is doing well, so I'm going to increase it to dub. I'm going to double the tax and see what happens. It's only a billion. Um, border controls have biometric trap. I'm going to go up to armed guards. And then, let's have a look at you, corporation tax. You're going up to 15%. You can make us some more money now. Right. Holy crap. The capitalists like us more than... a lot of people. <laughs> this How's is really that quite... possible? Mate. They like us more than everyone. Well, everyone is a category, though, so... Hmm. So capitalists like it when you become really unpopular. Mm-hmm. Maybe they're afraid of you staying in office.
for too long. Maybe that's their whole thing. They just don't like it if it looks like you're staying, you know? <laughs> Okay, so apparently state housing is the big problem right now. So I'm going to put it up just a little bit. Mm-hmm. We're up to BB. Credit rating upgraded. Another freaking yeah. oil line. Mate, our oil lines keep on getting attacked. We're putting in you need more military, mate. <coughs> I'm putting it up. T <coughs> oh my god. Sorry about that. Right, 38 million to 50 billion. <coughs> oh, 38 billion to 50 billion. We are upgrading the military spending. Because we have lots of money. And we can afford it. Lots of money. Yeah. And then, what else can we have to do? License and a minimum age. For 3 billion. Oh, we don't have enough money to do that. I didn't want to do that anyway. I want to give the police machine guns. <laughs> yeah, that's what they need, man. We've got a spy satellite network. Now we need the police. Where is that law? It's in here somewhere. We've got maximum police force. CCT key face recognition on CCTV. Hell yeah, welcome to the future. Where's the police equipment? Police force is at, is its, at its highest. But can I find the uh, guns? Maybe, what, do you have to buy that? Armed police, there it is. I don't have enough points for it. Alright. Homelessness situation is now at an end. Pollution problem is now out of control. A GM food proposal. Do we allow GM crops or we do we ban the sale of GM food? Hmm. Because it's obviously more popular with commerce. It's possible for foods to be created with other benefits, such as improved vitamin content and reduce the need for pesticides. Uh, allow it. Mm. Done. <clears throat> you know what GM crops are, anyway? Basically combining genetic code of one species to with another one. Mm. Well, it's just selective breeding. It's been going on for billions level. of that's years. Yeah, so. yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's how fine. you that's how you have orange carrots, mate. Carrots all used to be <laughs> white, and then some guy called Orange, Duke of Orange or something, decided he was going <laughs> to make them orange, and so that's why all carrots are now orange. And so that's why if you go to some countries, they're not. <laughs> Or Hans, <laughs> Duke of Horangia. Oh, God. So there you are. Cool. <laughs> yeah, well, how do you think... And you once upon a time, oranges were blue. Combos? Yeah, and yeah. that too. Actually, <laughs> the best example is corn. Look at corn. It used to be, like, brown and red and all these different colors, and now it's yellow. Oh, mate, the interest rate has come right down. Because we are a different credit rating now, and we're making loads of money. <laughs> we are different. <laughs> Uh, dude, we've got 115 billion per quarter surplus now. Ha chow! Our debt is actually starting to come down. I, we have a debt of 1.6 billion. I don't know how long it takes for us to make it back. Probably about 10 years. I don't have that long. <laughs> <laughs> we've got a bit of a pollution issue though. 
Maybe we should put a pollution policy in place. Something that fines them. Yeah, carbon tax. What? Oh, there's a... Yeah, because yeah, they're ca polluting. They're polluting. No, so if we put a carbon a tax... Thing, though. That should be... A lot of these things should be state, not country. There is no state. There is only Mushroom Fleet. I mean, the Mushroom Party. Look at that. Income, 73 billion a quarter at 38%. Whoa, that's money. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna do that. They're all idiots, mate. Pumping out loads of ozone stuff. We're gonna pay and pay. Yeah, we're gonna make them pay. And then we'll do the telecommuting initiative, which will stop people from driving their cars in the first place, and it'll only cost a billion. Ah. Okay, housing expansion. Shortage of homes. They want to build on Greenbelt. Do we allow it or do we not allow it? Mm. I mean, I think people have got to live somewhere and it's only a matter of time until this whole country is a giant mega city. So, you know, you can either build up or build out. And people don't want to build up because of planning permission. So, there's only out left, isn't there, really? I mean, what do you think? Well, if you build up and you got more space for farms and crap, and if you build no, out, then, then also you're going to start congestion. Look at New York. Congestion could, equals yeah, but then workflow, eventually oh, people are going to starve in the long run. In the long run, so more pollution as well. But we don't. We can. Well, yeah. yeah, we Just can. Yeah, but we could start importing food, and then our uh, in, then our foreign policies will be better. Yeah, but at the same time, it'll cost more. Mm. Expand out. So okay, uh, it's uh, up uh, to deputy the deputy minister. It's up to the deputy von Doom. It's his call. I don't know what his aides are saying right now, but. Von Doom? Um, if we keep planning restrictions, we can increase, um, like, get people to live in abandoned homes. I don't know if it's like this in this okay. game, but no, no, in no, no, Britain no. I there's plenty of... Hey, it'll increase land value, so I think we should keep planning restrictions. Yeah, exactly. Because if you just, if say you had a house in the country that was worth a million and then a big housing development but up near it, it's going to be worth less money, isn't it? So yeah. yeah, we need to somehow. It's telling me to higher tech taxation and lower expenditure, but we're at five forty one billion in and three eighty five out. We're a hundred and something billion in the in 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 credit. <laughs> and they're like, you need to lower your expenditure. You're only a BB rated country. <coughs> yeah. The Battenberg group what, still mate? hate me. You telling me what to do, mate? I yeah. sent my military on you, mate. That's right. Foreign aid is it? I'm going to we'll stab your cherry up. muffin. I'll put my foreign aid up baton. to four. Put foreign aid up to four, and then put the import tariffs down. Try and make us more competitive. So, in fact, alcoholism is still a problem. Whoa, are you all right there, deputy? I'm fine. Ooh, low strength beer. Wow, that'll make everyone drink even more beer. Should, what? So what? You raise the, the minimum age. Sorry, if you lower the minimum age, the people get happy. Right, let's do it. We're going to lower the minimum age to 16, like in France. That'll cure Yay. the alcohol problem, for sure. <laughs> I 
I don't understand how that works. Okay, let's put property tax down to 25%. Oh, we don't have enough. Damn it, I've got to wait. Okay, environmental protest. They're blaming me for failing to put the environment at the top of the agenda. Well, I just brought in the CO2 laws. What the hell? <laughs> Come on. <sighs> They're never happy. Fine, I'll put the CO2 law up. Fine. I'll raise it to 45%. Wait, is that putting CO2 emissions up? It says you've got a positive up? effect on GDP, but it's going down, apparently. Yeah, right? I don't understand. Look, if I put the emissions regulation up, yeah, the environmentalist and energy efficiency goes up, but everyone, air travel, GDP, and CO2 emissions suffer. Like, CO2 emissions go up if you make them... I don't get it. Why are the CO2 emissions... You'd think they go down. Like... According to this, if I just take the control the tax off, the CO2 emissions go right down to nothing. How does that make any sense? I don't even know. That doesn't make any sense. Brings in a lot of money though. That CO2 policy. I'm not sure if it's bringing in the same amount that it always has though. GDP is starting to come down, so I'm going to relax the CO2. I think it's probably too high, actually. And then the environmentalists will shut up as well. If I take it down to like 9%, they are actually... That's, that's stupid. Why do they get so pissed? Yeah, it's not the same as doing something about it. All right, all right, all right, fine. Someone in the chat just said taxing CO2 isn't the same as doing something about it. He's right. So is there actually environment policy on that? Because if there is, we'll get it. I don't think there is, though. <laughs> gambling. <laughs> Bring in gambling. No stake limit, oh my god. Doesn't cost me anything. Right, we could do clean energy subsidies. Maybe the greens are like that, you know? Give that a go. Credit rating upgraded. We're credit rated A, a baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We're going to get 57% vote, dude. Well, no. Huh. Look at that. People hated us. And then, and then we're clawing it back again. Just in time for the election, mate. <laughs> 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 oh, this is great. Hang on. Let me see. We've got particle accelerators, baby. What are you going to do now? Student laptops. Hell yeah. Food standards agency. We'll push that up to max. Support public traffic. All right, let's have a look. Bus lanes. Motorists hate it. Commuters and bus usage likes it. That's funny. Oh, mate. Right. What else have we got? What's this? Road building. We're currently at a major expansion. That's good. Uh, telecommuting. Rail subsidies. These guys, they don't really need any money. Hmm. Transport. Oh. Free bus passes. It's not very popular. 
You'd think it would be. Subsidised school buses. That seems popular. Oh, clean fuel subsidy. That seems super popular. Maximum. It will cost us a billion a year. Well, I'll drop that. What else have we got? Bus lanes. Oh, we already looked at bus lanes. Uh, fuel efficiency. See, biofuel subsidies is probably the next one. Okay. At least no one's been trying to kill. Oh! It's the election! Von Doom. Deputy oh no. Von Doom. Are you sitting down? I am. Okay. They're counting the votes. Oh my. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. We've done it! Again? We've done it! Whoop. We're in! Thank you, Apathy. 43% of people didn't bother, and the idiots get a third term. Yes! <laughs> and that, my friend, is politics. I love it. This is brilliant. I, we, we get another... <sighs> okay, health is down. Crime is down. Education is up. Poverty is down. Violent crime is down. The environment's sucking pretty hard, as is equality. Technology is up. Unemployment is down, which is nice. CO2 is up, which is strange, because I taxed the crap out of it. Uh, and yeah, international relations is still pretty bad. The poor are earning more. The middle are earning more, and the high. Everyone's earning more money, guys. And our country's on the up. Come on. But people are drinking less beer. That worries me slightly. Our currency strength is on the way up too. So. Let's begin our next. Our, I, I never. See we were never supposed to last three terms guys. We were never supposed to go this far. Okay. But don't worry. We got this. Okay. Deputy. Before we go on our six month holiday as is tradition, um, basically, there's an urgent issue about a toxic waste dump in our country. Um, this facility will be very large, potentially creating many jobs in its construction, but there are concerns about its effect on the environment. So do we allow it, or do we prevent it? Well, we don't really need the economic gains, do we? We're already gaining a lot of money. Hmm. And it'd be very really yeah. unpopular yeah. if you got it. At this point, I agree. The smart move is to prevent construction. We've done it. We blocked them. <coughs> we had a surplus of 163 billion. Good news, everyone. Okay. Turns out it doesn't take that long to fix a trillion, uh, a one trillion <laughs> deficit. Five years, I reckon, at this rate. And we've already done one of them. Let's see if we can do it. Okay. Six month holiday. Oh, our credit rating's been upgraded again to double A. Oh, ha, ha. Yeah. However... We didn't do something wrong, but a crisis in confidence overseas has led to a global meltdown of the stock market. <gasps> Uh-oh. Nova recession, uh -oh. double dip. <laughs> it was a double dip. Son of a... Okay, so, pollution. What can we do about pollution? We got clean energy subsidies which will be good car usage okay <coughs> what i'm gonna do is put a t put road tax on i think road tax car tax that'll reduce the uh, pollution and then if we do the hybrid cars as well yeah maximum yep. hybrid cars and then road tax which 
Hopefully he makes them free. Hang on a sec. Fixed cost of car ownership. So we put that on, but take it down to like... Uh... Hmm, I don't know if that actually, I don't know if car tax is a good idea. It doesn't really earn any money. And it's very unpopular. What do you think? Well, I think you just implemented the car tax, so you got to do something with it. Mm, I haven't implemented this one. I implemented, uh, which one did I do? Hybrid cars. You know, it's like, yeah, you, know, you, you can just get a free hybrid now. Let's have a look. Tax incentives encourage people to buy more hybrids and I'm spending the full amount on it. 